let us start our discussion that for oxygen therapy and mechanical ventilation what we need to talk about so for giving oxygen to any person we need devices uh, and the device is divided into two three broad division uh, the device is divided into low dependency device medium dependency device and high dependency device so what do i mean by low dependency device now the in this i would discuss with you those devices which are only used for providing oxygen to the patient they are the devices which we attach to the patient when the oxygen concentration of the patient is below the normal limit we attach them for just oxygenation they are the devices which would not support in ventilation and we need patient's own spontaneous respiration to attach these devices so low dependency device what are the device they are the devices device which is used for just oxygenation just oxygenation that is to give the oxygen concentration higher than room air oxygen concentration so just oxygen devices and we need patient's respiratory effort to attach these devices and what are the devices which comes under the low dependency device uh, the devices like your nasal cannula nasal cannula your face mask or your venturi mask these are the devices which comes under your low dependency device so we only attach these device when patient can breathe on their own but their oxygen concentration is below the normal limit we need to have more oxygen give uh, concentration uh, in these patients so we attach these devices to give oxygen at a higher concentration than room air then comes medium dependency device now medium dependency device are the devices which also is used to enhance the oxygen concentration of the patient but to some extent they would contribute in decreasing the work of breathing of the patient so these devices device which supplement oxygen supplement supplement oxygen and also decreases work of breathing decreases work of breathing so a little bit they would contribute in ventilation also but when we attach the medium dependency device patient's own respiratory effort should be intact we cannot attach it if patient doesn't have a respiratory effort and what are the devices which comes under this the devices which comes under this is your bipap machine that is bi level positive airway pressure machine or cpap machine which i will talk about okay so these devices comes under medium dependency device they enhance the oxygenation and also they decrease the work of breathing then comes the high dependency device the high dependency device can thoroughly control the oxygenation and ventilation of the patient they can be used even in the person who are not breathing on their own and mechanical ventilation that is ventilator comes under this so the device which can control which can control oxygenation oxygenation and ventilation thoroughly ventilation both so which can control both oxygenation and ventilation thoroughly okay and what other device which comes under this ventilator so i will also talk about the ventilator in this session so in this session i would start with low dependency device the the nasal cannula face mask the venti mask which are very commonly asked in our exam then after completing these devices discussing the qu clinical questions as well of these devices i will talk about bipap and cpap machine and then i will talk about the ventilator ventilatory settings so this is what is the plan for this lecture so let us start our discussion with low dependency device okay so as i said these are the devices which just supplement the oxygen concentration increase the oxygen concentration of the patient just supplementation of oxygenation right and low dependency device right is divided into two types it is divided into two types right so it is divided into your uh, low flow uh, variable fio2 delivering device and high flow fixed fio2 delivering device so it is low dependency device is divided 
into two groups. Two group, right? First one is your low flow, low flow variable FIO2, variable FIO2 delivering device. Now, what do I mean by this low flow variable FIO2 delivering device? So, we need to understand. So, you first need to understand what do I mean by the word flow? What is this meaning of this word flow? Flow means inspiratory flow. So, you all are listening to the lecture. I am delivering the lecture. My respiratory rate at this point of time is, let's say, 13 breath per minute. Some of you may be having 14 breath per minute. Some of you may be having 16 breath per minute. But normally, from 12 to 20, most of us have our normal respiratory rate. So, at this respiratory rate and at a normal tidal volume which we take, our inspiratory flow requirement per minute is hardly... 6 to 7 liters, right, 6 to 7 liters per minute. So, inspiratory flow required by a normal individual at its normal, at normal breathing is 6 to 7 liter per minute. But when, let's say, when I am breathing at a very fast rate, my respiratory rate is, let's say, 30 breath per minute because I am suffering 30 or 40 breath per minute. I am suffering from pneumonia or high fever or some reason. My respiratory rate is very high then the inspiratory flow is very high in requirement. The inspiratory flow requirement per minute would increase from 6 to 8 liter, which is normal, to let's say 40, 50, 60 liter per minute, right? So that is something called high inspiratory flow. What is normally is low inspiratory flow required by us, 6 to 8 liter per minute. Even if little respiratory rate increases, 10 liter, 12 liter per minute is good enough. Low flow devices are the devices, in they, all the devices in this group, the maximum inspiratory flow which can be offered by these devices is 15 liter per minute. And this is the first point on which question has been asked in exam. What is the maximum inspiratory flow delivered by conventional oxygen therapy? I would like to add here that all the devices which I will describe in low flow variable FIO2 delivering device they are also sometimes referred as conventional oxygen therapy device. So here I am writing conventional, conventional, conventional oxygen therapy device. And as I said, the first point that the maximum flow, maximum flow, which can be given by these devices is 15 liter per minute. And this was a exam question which has been asked in exam, right? Okay. Then the second word is variable FiO2. Variable. What do I mean by this variable FiO2? Guys, in this, I would discuss with you devices. I would say nasal cannula. And when I, I would explain that nasal cannula, when I give in oxygen at a rate of, from nasal cannula, when we give oxygen at a rate of, let's say, uh, 3 liter per minute, what I expect is that the patient receive oxygen concentration of 30, 33%, right? So this is normally what I expect, right? What I expect, okay? Now, what is this? That What is that? That if my respiratory rate is normal, then definitely the nasal cannula at this uh, flow rate would deliver your 33% of oxygen. But if I am breathing at a very high oxygen concentration, I am breathing very high oxygen concentration. I'm breathing at a very high oxygen concentration rate, right? Then in that case, uh, the requirement, uh, the FiO2 which will be delivered by nasal cannula, FiO2 which will be delivered by nasal cannula would be less than what it is expected. Again, I'll explain. Again, I'll explain. See, when I am giving oxygen from nasal cannula at 3 liter per minute, routinely in a patient with a normal respiratory rate, I expect that 33% oxygen concentration will be delivered by it. But if a patient is breathing at a very high rate, where patient is breathing at a very high rate, right? Let's say uh, uh, 60 breath per minute or 40 breath per minute, then the inspiratory flow requirement would be very high and dilution of the oxygen which I'm giving to my patient would be very high. And FiO2 or oxygen concentration which will be delivered to the patient will decrease. So, Variable FiO2 means, variable FiO2 means that I am 
Yes, I will explain 33% and all. Don't worry about it. Everything I will explain. Just listen. We will, I will take the queries as well. So what I'm trying to say that variable FiO2, which I mean is that oxygen concentration, which I am delivering to my, uh, which I'm expect to be delivered to the patient depends upon the breathing pattern of the patient. It is not fixed. I cannot fix this much oxygen will go to the patient. It depends upon the breathing pattern. We can expect this much oxygen will go to the patient, but it depends finally upon the breathing pattern of the patient. So FiO2 delivered by the low flow variable FiO2 delivering device will vary from patient to patient. It will vary from patient to patient. What my point? It cannot be fixed by us. So that is what is called variable FiO2 delivering device. Got my point? So variable FiO2 means FiO2 cannot be cannot be fixed. FiO2 cannot be fixed. It will vary from patient to patient. Vary from patient to patient. Okay. It depends upon the breathing pattern of the, of the patient. Now the second group of device which I will discuss would be your high flow fixed FiO2 delivering device. High flow. High flow fixed FiO2 delivering device. Fixed FiO2 delivering device. So what do I mean by this device? High flow fixed FiO2 delivering device would be the devices in which the flow can be very high. The oxygen, the, uh, the gas flow, the gas flow can be let's say 60 liter or 70 liter per minute. That is different from the low flow device which was hardly 15 liter per minute. Here it could be 60 to 70 liter per minute, right? And FiO2 is fixed. FiO2 is fixed. It does not depend upon the breathing pattern of the patient. It does not depend on the breathing pattern of the patient. Whatever FiO2 I want to deliver, I can precisely give my patient that much FiO2. It will not vary according to the breathing pattern of the patient. So FiO2 is fixed. FiO2 is Got it? So FiO2 will be fixed. FiO2 is fixed. Okay. So let us see what are the devices which comes under that. What are the devices? So first group is low flow variable FiO2 delivering device. Variable FiO2 delivering device. Right. Low flow variable FiO2 delivering device. In this, what all devices will come? First one is your nasal cannula. So we will discuss in detail about nasal cannula. What FiO2 it will deliver, how much, how that FiO2 will be achieved. Second would be your simple face mask. Simple face mask. Simple face mask. Okay. I'll talk about simple face mask. Okay. The third device which I will discuss would be the mask with reservoir bag. Mask with reservoir valve. and in this our non-breathing mask is something which I have discussed in detail. So these are the three devices which comes under low flow variable FiO2 delivering device. I would tell you in these devices that with nasal cannula I expect the oxygen concentration which will be achieved in the patient between 25 to 45 percent. I will explain it, how I will achieve this. But this FiO2 also will be achieved only if patient has a stable breathing pattern. If patient has a very high respiratory rate, then this FiO2 also will not be delivered. So that's why we call them variable FiO2 delivering device. It vary from patient to patient according to the breathing pattern of the patient, right? In simple face mask, I will tell you, 60% FiO2, it will, it will deliver, it can deliver. But that 60% also, it will be achieved uh, if patients have a stable breathing pattern. If patients...